Off tonight, Timothy Coulter is in police custody facing multiple charges, including two counts of first degree murder. He was arrested tonight following a police chase that ended in a crash at I-55 in Bates in St. Louis City, 11 days after the murders in Pacific. Our Laura Bercheski has new details tonight from police. I just hope they catch him. That's what Ronald Klein Sr. told Five on Your Side just one day after his son Ron Klein Jr. and his son's girlfriend Leslie Barstow were killed. Somebody was after him, but he never would tell me who. Franklin County Sheriff Steve Pelton says Timothy Coulter was in the back seat of Klein Jr.'s truck back on January 4th when he shot and killed the couple. The shooting caused Klein Jr. to crash into his father's house in Pacific. Well, anytime there's a loss of life, it's a senseless killing. And everybody belongs to somebody. And them victims deserve justice. And not only do the victims deserve justice, but the families deserve justice and answers as to what happened in regards to that. Sheriff Pelton says Coulter has an extensive criminal past and believes he was trying to rob the couple. Klein's dad thought so too. It was deliberately done. I don't know if it was for the backpack and all the stuff he had in it or, or a grudge or what, I don't know. The sheriff says his office issued a no bond warrant for Coulter on January 10th. Just three days later, Coulter ended up in a police chase, which turned into a manhunt in Villa Ridge. And two days after that on Sunday, he tried to run from officers again, crashing his car on I-55 at the Bates exit in St. Louis. Our agency alone probably has over a thousand man hours up until this point in the investigation. We're not done yet. Um, we're going to do whatever is possible to make sure that we seek to justice when it comes to that. Both of the victim's families tell Five on Your Side tonight they're glad to see some sort of justice. Klein Sr. didn't want to go back on camera, but told us over the phone tonight, maybe if Coulter was in jail, my son would still be alive. Police say no one else was hurt in tonight's pursuit and crash.